Hey, hello, this is Paul at Vector3, and today we are going to be electroplating silver onto copper. And uh, I tried this a few years back. I made a video of the same thing, electroplating silver over copper, and the results were eh. And uh, matter of fact, these are two pieces that I did in the past. The finish is uh, it's a little weak. It's very thin coating. It's got a lot of carbon buildup. I'll show you a close-up in a second. Uh, so the results weren't that great. It's dull finish. Uh, anyhow, a kind person saw this video and they believed that they could get me better results. And they said as long as I'm willing to try it, they're willing to send me the ingredients and chemicals needed along with detailed instructions. So I said yes. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to, you're going to find out with me today how good this works. So I haven't done this yet. We're going to go through this together and find out. Uh, so first thing is uh, I'll show you a close-up of this and then let me show you the all the ingredients and everything needed uh, to do this okay here's let me show you these these were from last time a lot of people weren't that crazy about the results they're not that great results like I said a little thin a lot of carbon buildup it's hard to see inside and everything but uh, not that great. So, anyhow, let me show you uh, all, everything we need. Let me just uh, zoom out here. Here's all my ingredients here. Most of this stuff, brightener, most of this stuff can be found on eBay. Small scale. Uh, containers for mixing. There's another glass container there. Power supply some rubber gloves measuring stirring uh, gallon distilled water and so we got all our stuff here so let's go on to the first step here Okay, we have our five, we're going to call this large container A and a small one B. Uh, going to mix in our uh, silver nitrate and let's see, I got to reset that, there we go. There we go, and now we need uh, was five grams of silver nitrate, four grams Check that again. Yeah, seemed like a lot. Okay. Four. There we 
go. One tiny bit too much. Okay. Put that in the container B. Let's get that dissolving there. I should really be using rubber gloves at this point. Okay, let's get our KOH going here. Dissolve that. Dark brown precipitation, huh? All right, let's see. Okay. Now, mix that in with that. Whoa, yeah, that's dark brown precipitation. Okay. Now we're gonna keep agitating that for a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to keep stirring this, and uh, we'll come back and continue. Okay. <clears throat> Now we've measured out eight grams of our py pyrrolidine and we're gonna slowly keep adding that in. Solutions that start clearing up. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep uh, agitating this and we'll come back, it's looking much clearer, if you could see it, looks like kind of like sand is sitting on the bottom now, but it's uh, getting clearer and clearer. Let's keep going. We'll come back in a minute. Okay. You can see the solution has gotten much clearer. Okay. So first I got our four grams of our pyrolidine. Oops. Fast. Okay, mix that in. Now we need four and a half grams of KNO3. Our potassium nitrate, let's see, four and a half grams. Oh, 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 what are you doing, Paul? Uh, we got a little mess to clean up. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
four. Four. Pretty close. There we go. Okay. Four and a half grams of KNO3. Two point one grams of KOH. I'm going to keep mixing that and we'll come back in a minute. Okay. First, we're going to add our one third bottle of brightener into container A. One third bottle, huh? Ah, son of a. One second here. Well, I've already cleaned up in between shots here. I've already washed my hands thoroughly many times. Like I said, I guess I'm just lazy. I should have my rubber gloves on. It also wouldn't hurt to wear N95 uh, filtered mask. Uh, the silver nitrate is a poison. You should not breathe the dust. Okay, so anyhow, there's our brightener. And next, we're going to add one gram <coughs> of surfactant in the separate container, our container B here, along with 100 milliliters of water. Which is approximately 3.4 fluid ounces. Uh, hold on one second here. The rag again. Well, you think I would have two mixers, Paul? That would have been a little smarter. Okay, so we're gonna stir that up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this surfactant we're going to slow the, uh, pour this solution into container A and we're going to mix it well. Uh, first I'm going to keep agitating this until this dissolves better. Okay, and then after that we're going to add another 300 to 350 uh, milliliters of water which is approximately uh, 10 to uh, 10.1 to 11.8 fluid ounces Okay, approximately I got about 11 fluid ounces so uh, I'm gonna keep agitating this I'm gonna pour this into there and then dilute it with the other water and then we will come back <laughs> 